If you've been injured, the insurance company that you hear from is not there to help you. Don't get bullied by insurance companies. Call Jason Ernest and bully them back at 775-727-9500. Pending in the Clark County Courts, um, there's, a, there's an action brought by a lender against Front Sight for default on a loan. Uh, so the lender gave FrontSight $6.375 million. That loan matured. It became due a short while ago. Uh, principal in full. FrontSight hasn't paid it. They've also stopped paying interest on the loan. And so that's why foreclosure proceedings are going to be happening unless FrontSight comes up with a $9.7 million bond. Well, there are two fronts that I am most intimately involved with, uh, one of which is criminal. We'll talk about that in a minute. The other is the civil. The central pervading thrust of this is that it is uh, fraudulent, that it's a Ponzi scheme, and that many of us who have purchased lifetime memberships have been getting them withdrawn. Keith Greer is an amazing attorney, a wonderful human being, and he has been uh, working with us tangentially and uh, consulting with our attorneys. The class action lawsuit has not been filed yet um, due to some very erratic actions uh, taken by Ignatius Piazza, the owner and president of Front Sight. Ignatius Piazza has been collecting tens of millions of dollars from members over the last two get decades with promises of building the resort out there uh, in, the, in the training facility. And instead of building the facility, he's taking the money, he's putting it in his own pocket. The Facebook site has been set up so that Front Sight members just have a place where they can get current information about the status of the lawsuit and to facilitate members being able to make complaints themselves. Piazza is canceling the memberships of anybody he identifies as uh, in any way being confrontational or questioning his authority or questioning his actions. To me, this borders on witness intimidation because we are active witnesses and complainants in this criminal case. And because we won't keep our mouth shut, we're being kicked out of the organization. And a lot of people have actually left our group. Even if he refunds their money, they are still being defrauded out of a, a valuable asset because that that membership has value and an ownership interest in that property, which may be worth, you know, forty million dollars, fifty million dollars. And then they give me a paltry check for two hundred dollars. And in his same online presence, his uh, website, he's valuing my membership at sixty thousand dollars. And bear in mind, I have 11 of those memberships. We believe that he never had any intent to, to give the, the property over, if, and, and certainly not to develop it and give it over. His, his statements in those memberships, sales documents, say that once Front Sight is fully built out and running like a well-oiled machine, he would then pass it over. That means completion of the resort and then all of the infrastructure, and really he's representing, he's going to have this completed resort that people will have interest in. Um, and he's not spending the money to build out the resort. He's just getting more money. The training, everybody says the training out there is phenomenal. The facility itself is phenomenal. The only problem is it's run by Ignatius Piazza. He's got to go. And so what? So once, once the property is pulled away from Piazza, I think it's strongly in the lender's interest to work out something with the members and try and figure out a way to keep Front Sight going without the involvement of Ignatius Piazza. So if anybody, uh, if, if any if you class members want to, uh, potential class members want to reach out to me, if there are any lawyers out there that want to get involved on the, on the class on the legal side, feel free to reach out to me at 800-366-8529.